to the entertaining Talking Sports. What is going on, football fans? Back at it with another New York Giants video. Meant to say thank you a couple videos ago for you guys. I hit 24K, and I'll be doing a giveaway if and when I hit 25K, so I'm really looking forward to that. But I wanted to dive into uh, some positive news. Some positive news at a not-so-positive time regarding the New York Giants. The often injured Evan Ingram was shown on, on his Instagram profile out of the walking boot. Of course, it was previously reported by Giants Wire that he may not be out of that walking boot until the start of training camp. Well, he showed himself on the treadmill. I'll get into the uh, picture in a second. Training this offseason to get back in shape as the New York Giants prepare for the for the uh, 2020 season, and we'll have to wait and see how it all plays out. You know, we don't know you know how the, when the schedule is going to be released, what the plan is, but the Giants are making sure they're ready when the season starts, and Evan Ingram certainly being one of them. And of course, the New York Giants will have to make the decision very soon, from what I read, whether or not to extend Ingram and Peppers on their rookie deals, and they're very interesting, uh, very interesting decision coming up, being that Ingram has been often injured, but he would cost about $6 million from what I've read to retain on the fifth year of his rookie deal. The Giants will have to make that decision long before the start of the year in the fourth season of his rookie contract. The same could be said for Peppers. Peppers a little bit banged up last year. You brought in Xavier McKinney. Pepper's going to cost about eight and a half to nine million dollars to extend on the fifth year of his rookie deal. So we're going to get a lot of answers with those two players. But Ingram, by all accounts, seems healthy, seems ready to go for the New York Giants, or at least will be ready to go at the start of training camp, whenever that may be, as he prepares to get ready for the 2020 season. Just wanted to pull this up for you guys. The first quote was this. Ingram posted an Instagram story on Wednesday that showed him sans boot running on the treadmill. The roughly 10-second clip represented a substantial leap forward for Ingram, who was still hampered by a boot as recently as March. And there's the photo of him jogging on the uh, treadmill as he gets ready for the new season with the mask on, and he's getting pumped up for the New York Giants new season. Of course, Ingram is in a put-up-or-shut-up year, especially if he plans to be in the New York Giants, you know, long-term plans. He's a guy with a world of ability, and he's now playing in a system that fits him perfectly, not to mention a coach with a mindset that I think he fits the, fits the mold of versatility on an offense more so than probably any player on this roster outside of possibly Saquon Barkley. But I'm really excited to see how they line Ingram up in this offense this year. I could see him some, some you know, being used more on the outside than in, you know, prior years. Maybe used a little bit more as the H-backs and, and of course, in the tight end alignment. Um, and as far as the tight end goes, in Jason Garrett's Air Coriel offense, historically, the tight end thrives. And there's not many more tight ends in the NFL. There's not many others that, that pose a bigger mismatch um, to opposing defenders. The guy has an incredible athletic ability. He ran a 4-4-40 at his combine just three years ago, which made him a first-round pick to the New York Giants. Does he need to work on some things? Yes. But he's not a true tight end. I don't think he's ever going to be an upper echelon blocker, but the Giants could certainly use him in a variety of ways, and if they intend to trade him, which I would be open to for the right deal, I do not think it will be it will happen until middle of the season, if and when the Giants are out of it, which I don't know if they're going to be. I really like their draft. We'll see. I think they could remain competitive throughout the majority of the regular season, but if they're going to remain competitive, they're going to need a very productive year from guys like Evan Ingram, Saquon Barkley, Sterling Shepard. They're going to need their weapons to stay healthy, and they're going to need them to perform at a high level. And Ingram is certainly capable of it. When he's been on the field, he's a very good tight end, as long as he can hold on to the football, at least in terms of the passing game. Seems to be out of the walking boot. Seems to be ready to go for the start of training camp, whenever that may be. And Giants fans, I'm pumped up this year. I hope you are too. As always, guys, if you liked what you watched, please subscribe. Drop a comment. Maybe give me a little thumbs up. Cheers.